Hey, what's up, fuckers? Young Uru out here. I think I'm earlier this time I'm posting a video. What do you think? Anyways, let's get started with the topic today. Today, I want to talk about uh, something that another subscriber asked. A lot of people ask me a lot of questions through my DMs on Instagram or Snapchat, even YouTube comments. So if you guys have any questions, post them down below because uh, I do tend to answer them a lot. And remember the time where I said like, hey, you know, pride don't pay the bills. I actually got that quote from one of my friends, Zach. Uh, he was a former uh, infantry Marine. I think it was 0311. Uh, he told me that pride don't pay the bills. And then the reason why he told me that was because it wasn't until that he got out where he started understanding uh, the concept of it. And I think I want to build up on that concept and what he meant by it and what I mean by it too as well when I say it. I think this is something that a lot of people in the world in general, but let's say militarily speaking because it's a military channel, uh, should follow and, and understand, I guess. And that is to listen to what people have to say. You know how some people say like, hey, you know, don't listen to what anybody says you know they're just haters don't don't let that bother you or whatever right and yes that is true to a certain extent however a lot of people take constructive criticism as an insult they take it as a hater comment they take it as a um way to push through their problems and not let anybody tell them what to do because they don't like to tell be told what to do because they have pride they have ego and whatnot and so what right honestly i am guilty of this too so you know maybe i'm saying this to kind of better myself as well and maybe i am also trying to get better but at the same time i think this applies to a lot of people because if we can just sit down and, and listen to what people have to say about certain topics certain things or what we're doing wrong ourselves i think people would be better off in the long term Yo, yeah, they may have to suck it up, you know, suck up that pride in the middle of it because it sucks to listen to, you know, pe people telling them what to do and whatnot. But sometimes those are actually helpful comments, right? Um, and this goes for the people who try to constructively criticize. It's not what you say, it's how you say it, right? It's about how you say it to other people. Let's say this is a person that you actually care about. Or generally care about like one of your own marines or one of your own soldiers or your friends or your family it's how you say it that will aid in the people to listen instead of just blow you off and and then classify you as a hater and i want to relate back to the people who are joining the military or are in the military let's say you're joining the military right um there's a lot of goals that you guys want right and there's a lot of aspirations that you guys have but what people don't let you know sometimes is that sometimes you can be so motivated that you lose part of your brain you don't really see from an objective point of view on what you're doing wrong i mean you could look really stupid right you could be doing something really stupid but in your head you're thinking like, oh, this is the way to go. You know, this is the way to go. This is the way to train, right? For example, fitness, right? You're trying to get a better run time. People say, oh, you gotta, you gotta run like 10 miles to get a better three mile time. In reality, that's not really true if you look at it. Um, it's mostly through like sprint workouts and intense cardio workouts, right? Uh, there's more of a science to it. Is how you run the form you know the technique and how you run the technique and breathing and controlling your breath to get you that better run time because i get a lot of fitness questions but let's say i were to approach somebody and tell them that someone who's really motivated but oh you don't know what you're talking about like you're fucking stupid you're just a pogue you're just a reservist right that's what they think sometimes you know like i'd rather listen to like a guy who's you know who's been through it you know who's who's done it all and you haven't but i mean it doesn't take an idiot to figure some of these things out so what I want to tell you guys is that don't be so motivated when you lose part of your brain and you just say, fuck the haters. You know, they're just hating. Sometimes people are, actually do have a point. Um, instead of classifying them as a hater, the best thing to do is just sit down and just hear them out and make your own educated opinion on whatever else happens after you listen to them, right? That's just a good thing to have in life. You know what I'm saying? It happened, it's good to have it a job. And plus, uh, you get smarter that way because you can see things from multiple perspectives, right? 
more how people think and you can actually understand how people are so when it comes down to people that you don't like dealing with right you know how to deal with pe those people because you've experienced different types of people that's the whole point is that you got to experience different type of people because a person coming from the south is going to be completely different than a, per than a person coming from california completely different right instead of saying that hey i grew up in california so my way is the only way you some people are stupid or some people say oh you california are stupid just a bunch of liberal hippies this is okay cool right you're from the south i'm from california we got to work together let me hear what you got to say right maybe because everybody's experience is different so everybody's got something different to bring to the table and through that you guys are able to find a compromise right and work together and that's why it's like you should hear out opinions that are different from yours and use it to your advantage instead of classifying it as a hate comment or whatever it's hard to explain honestly but if you get what i mean like anytime you you think that somebody's hating on you just hear them out you know it's i know i know it's how they say it that might piss you off but let as, as a person listening just put that aside and just consider what they have to say maybe i get pissed off uh, a little bit and let, let it let it let it kind of blow by but just really consider what people have to say because may, they may have a point right i think there'll be less like stupid you know hard charging people out there that's what they put it like you're not so you're so motivated when you lose part of your brain cells you know i i i don't know best that's the best way i can explain it um because in life that's just reality you can't go into something burn all your bridges right and expect everything to work out the way you want to work out and then when it doesn't work out you, you lose all your motivation because everything that you worked for was basically trashed you don't want that right so slow down right slow down take a step back think about what you got to do next right and proceed with a common collective manner instead of you know saying fuck everybody get out of my way i'm gonna I'm a fucking do it my own way um because motivational speakers told me that hey don't let any other people's opinion bother you and blah blah Instead of thinking of it as an as insult and letting it bother you, just thinking about something, hey, that's just probably something that I can use to my advantage. Anyways, I it's hard to explain, right? But I hope you guys get the point of the video because I got a, I got a lot of comments and, and messages about this sometimes. You know, what should I do? This and that. Those are good comments. Those are good, good questions. What should I do? Look, you're taking a step back and listen. And I want to, I guess, shout those people out and use that example to to kind of educate the people because some people are really motivated and they don't understand what the fuck they're doing wrong right so use those people as an example to actually just take a step back and ask questions the best questions are the ones when asked appropriately okay so those are appropriate questions to ask when when um you join the military or if you're in the military don't let you know the motivational stuff get to you because i I, I'm sorry to say this, but in life, it's not about like motivational, man. It's just like, it's pretty boring. It's, a lot of it's kind of like miserable. So you just gotta be miserable on the way to your goal, is best way to put it. But at the same time, you're doing it in a smart way. Anyways, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. If you like the video, thumbs up. And remember, if you get jiggy, don't forget to ride a piggy. Don't be like me. Thanks for watching. Ura.